so the topic topic for today is uh, cost accounting so and like uh, receipt accounting cost accounting all is also the same so i uh, in the brief i have this we have discussed it uh, in the last session that all the transactions which are there in the inventory module are come comes under the cost accounting section so all of them will be accounted in the cost accounting module so we need to set up each of them in the cost accounting otherwise the accounting will not fall in place so unlike receipt like receipt accounting we have to first create a mapping set then we have to add a mapping set to the account rule then we have to add the account rule in the journal entry rule set task and then the journal entry rule set must be assigned to the accounting right method so we'll go step by step initially i will open the jars first so now you will say how how should we decide what are the events what is the accounting entries what are the mapping sets we need to create so what we usually do is when we implement uh, any project we either we we have a list of all the account events and everything or we ask we on a fresh instance when we set up we do all the transactions receiving inventory put away miscellaneous receipt miscellaneous move orders everything and then we run the accounting and since there are no setup for accounting everything will give an error but in the accounting execution report you can see the event event type event class and uh, you looking at that you can configure each of the events and uh, one by one and configure the system so i'll show you what the event event type event class is. so in this firstly we'll navigate to so under the receipt accounting section only you have both the task receipt accounting and cost accounting so the above options are for receipt accounting and the options where the scope is you have to select you can select the scope as cost accounting and do the setup i mean uh, sorry i was a little late so is this the uh, what you are showing us what is called the tad or something right. yes it is unlike tad tad is used for defaulting charge account but this is used to for generating accounting entries in uh, while when we do all the purchasing and inventory transaction I don't know why it is become slow. Instance is only down.
so these are uh, journal entry rule set where wherein you enter the accounting rules of the created transactions for any transaction suppose if you want want a rule set uh, create a rule set for a miscellaneous transaction so you have to duplicate the seeded one and create a new journal entry rule set so if you want to create a rule set for uh, miscellaneous receipt so you just need to duplicate the seeded one and create a new one because everything from the back end setups and the functions from the oracle seeded one it automatically will be reflected in our uh, created one so you never create a new journal entry rule set always duplicate the original seeded one which is created by the oracle system seeded so this is a journal entry rule set for business receipts so as you can see these are various journal entry rules so uh, the accounting entry accounting entry for miscellaneous rule set miscellaneous receipt is inventory valuation debit to account to offset we we saw it last last week right so in this you need to enter the account rule only into the offset one and the inventory valuation one rest you can keep it keep it as blank there is no need so this these are all the journal entry line rules where other events might be triggered in the other uh, journal entry rule sets so it is all given by oracle seeded for everyone everything is the same so we need to enter the rules where in which uh, rule where the accounting entry will be hit for our segments so so we can enter in the inventory valuation and we can enter in the offset rule so now you can see here the rule is created here so now this task this is just for for the basic when you do the setup you can create create one from the duplicating the seeded one and leave it as blank okay i came here because i wanted to show you the events so the journal entry rule sets has the accounting entries inventory valuation and offset should so you must need to enter the account rule here so after this the next step will be go to the account rule need a one quick question here yeah. sorry uh, mehir uh, uh, like uh, this is uh, jers so it's like a, a sub ledger accounting so any accounting happens go through these rules right is there any like in in uh, finance side in the if i talk about receivables or payables we have uh, some accounting uh, uh, auto accounting as well like we can define these accounts like uh, like you're talking about uh, offset or any account we need like in the uh, receivable side we can define our uh, accounts like a revenue account receivables account if we don't need any further rule while posting the transactions we need not to define those uh, uh, rules here in the jers the 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 base accounting rules can work um, uh, base accounting can work which is defined in that module so in uh, inventory also is there any other place where you can define this offset account and uh, unless we have any specific uh, uh, rule set we come to this place that offset accounting uh, uh, you know um, can the transaction can yes. take from different place yeah basically offset account is nothing but the transaction the account uh, accounting uh, chart segments which you use in the front end so if mm -hmm. you don't enter it here the whenever the user what the whatever the user has entered in the front end system mm -hmm. will pick up that or so is there a place we can uh, give uh, as a as a so that it will be available there for user to uh, to see just no need to enter when he no, he no we have to make it make it man, yeah. enter only or pick from here okay yeah yeah make it in the setup or in the user have to say select it manually so as you can see miscellaneous receipt so this accounting rule you are also have to duplicate so that the condition and everything from the oracle will come by default each and every time whenever you create a rule or a jers you need to duplicate the from the seeded one and add our mapping set here so mappings in the in the mapping set you can see here miscellaneous receipt so in the mapping set what there will be various conditions based on the conditions you want account for so i'll open one mapping set also wherein you can do accounting based on inventory or you can do account accounting based on category so what whatever the segments which you want to be defaulted in our uh, segment setup you can do all those setup from the mapping set so the rules rules and uh, the jers is governed by only one thing that is the mapping set so in mapping set you can play with the input sources 
you can play with the accounts you can have various various mapping set for each segments yeah manage mapping sets so this you can this you can either copy it or you can directly create a new one basically for uh, many many a times we can use the seeded one also but if you want uh, to add our new values you can create new mapping set also so for uh, inventory valuation you can use this seeded mapping set material account organization is a seeded mapping set for all the inventory valuation accounts so on the requisition and so if you want for inventory destination which accounts to be defaulted you can come and enter the accounts based on inventory org here as you can see inventory org is this and this is the chart of account which is getting defaulted so for inventory location in the requisition whenever this this io is selected this account account will be get defaulted so you can see the the source source is inventory org code you can have inventory org name you can have source as a item category name i'll show you also i'll we will create one and i'll show you how it is created and then here you, you can select if you want for a particular segment or the whole combination combination of the chart of account so mostly it is a combination only so then here so you can have accounting based on various dffs also so you can choose a dff attribute value here and run the accounting you can have based on delivery to location you can have on inventory inventory code sub inventory so no mostly people use uh, the inventory org code only inventory org code or inventory org name because uh, on that basis the accounting comes the company segment changes based on inventory so they use the inventory or code only so so i'll show you the sources also it is how much and uh, what type of sources are available so you can select any source select the chart of account and then uh, enter the io code and the output account which you want so we we saw what what we saw is a reverse cycle but uh, when you are we and when you are doing and when you know what events even you have the accounting execution report Thank you.